Hello, friends. This is an event for Indian students arranged by Indian Embassy for Finland and Estonia. So. Uh, my name is Klet. I'm working in Merik. Uh, we offer the service of online identity verification uh, to a wide range of companies from financial institutions to uh, uh, different marketplaces. And uh, uh, today I'm here uh, to tell you a little bit about what I have learned about how to get the job that you love. I hope that uh, many of you already have that. Uh, but if you don't, maybe uh, you will get some new ideas, maybe you will get some new uh, thoughts uh, to take uh, from here. Uh, work in Estonia has done a lot of uh, uh, good uh, in terms of explaining how to put together your application and uh, how to actually um, highlight the things that uh, matter or what are the things that the companies look at here. So I would maybe take a step back and uh, talk about what you could think about before you even uh, get to an application. Uh, my, uh, my own work life uh, started uh, quite early on. I have been working since uh, I think the fourth, uh, fourth grade. Uh, so. Uh, this has been a very, very normal part of my day-to-day -day routine. I have had different jobs. I have enjoyed uh, most parts of these jobs. Uh, I really, uh, I, I can say I've been happy in these different jobs that I've had. Uh, however, all throughout my studies, when I was doing my bachelor's, when I was doing my master's, I kept thinking at the back of my head, as soon as I get my degree, this is when my career actually really kicks off. Uh, I'm doing all of these jobs or I'm working all of these jobs until I actually finish my degree and then I will get the jobs that I love. So uh, I got my bachelor's, uh, got my master's and uh, I finished the degrees and uh, the field that I had been working uh, towards was working in the public sector. And then when I finally did an actual internship in public sector and realized this is not for me, uh, I realized I had a problem. Um, all of these plans that I had uh, kind of built my life towards really didn't uh, come to any fruition. So I needed to think, what next? Uh, I needed to start thinking of what matters to me uh, outside of different roles or even specific uh, fields. So today I would like to walk you through seven things uh, that I hope uh, will help you uh, move towards the job that you love. Uh, if you have some pens or even your mobile phones, some, some papers to, uh, to scribble things on, uh, this would be a really good uh, little thought exercise to, to go through and uh, nothing uh, major, just kind of the first, uh, uh, first things that uh, come to your mind. Uh, so, I would recommend before you even start looking at any kind of uh, job posts, before browsing through any kind of uh, job ads, uh, to take a moment and think about what are some core values that uh, resonate with you? What are some characteristics that you look for uh, potentially in your colleagues? Uh, what would you like the company that you work for to stand for? Uh, what are some things that you definitely know that you cannot compromise on? These can be very simple things, honesty, cooperation, uh, friendliness, uh, helpfulness. But maybe there are some other things that you know are super crucial to you and you don't want to uh, work in a place that doesn't have them. So usually we are able to come up with a couple of keywords right off the top of our heads. So just the ones that really uh, are prominent in your head, uh, write them down because Mm, very, very likely these are the things that you really shouldn't compromise on. Second up um, 
Imagine you live in this uh, ideal world where you don't need to work for a paycheck. What would you spend your time doing? What would you be happy to do even if you wouldn't get a salary for it? Uh, what is this long-term why that you're actually working towards? Uh, what makes you happy? Uh, let's say you finally get the big paycheck. What will you do with that money? What will you do with the time? What is this why that you are working towards? What is it that you want to take account of uh, when you have finished your uh, career, your professional career? What is it that matters to you? Also, um, sometimes not so um, easy to draw clear connections to a specific role. But I uh, invite you to still think about these things and write them down, no matter how unrelated to a job they might seem like. What are the things that truly make you happy? What uh, puts a smile on your face? What uh, are things that you enjoy most? And yes, they can be really, really random things that don't necessarily tie in with a job at first glance. Maybe you're really a dog person. But maybe eventually you will find a company that has a pet friendly policy and this is something that you remember at the time when you were talking to them. So they can be really seemingly unrelated things, but do write down all of the things that make you happy and you want to see more of in your life. Also think about location and environment. Where do you feel yourself happiest? <laughs> do you like the peacefulness of Tartu? Do you like the hustle bustle of a more uh, busy town or city? Do you like the snow? Do you like sunshine? Can you live with only one hour of sunshine? <laughs> so uh, these are some of the questions that you should think about and keep them in mind. This is uh, also an interesting uh, question. Uh, it's easy to start thinking about, again, the, the things that you've studied, uh, uh, but I would also ask you to think about it in a bit wider way. What are the things that you think that you are above average good at? Uh, the things that uh, make your skills uh, stand out in a team or in your group of friends, Maybe you are the person who finds the way in an unknown town the, the easiest. Maybe you have uh, a really good singing voice. Maybe you are always the person who brings the group together if there are new people joining. So where are the things that you notice that you are, compared to the peers around you, where do you notice that you are above average good at? And then keeping all of those things uh, in mind, uh, but not uh, necessarily trying to zero in on a specific role or maybe even a specific company to start with. When you have taken a mental account of all of the things that really matter to you, how you, you see your skills, then just do some research. Uh, hop on the internet and try to find the things that matter to you. What are the company's values? Uh, what are the company's goals? What kind of people work there? What do they tell about themselves? Do you know anyone who works there? Uh, can, they, can they back up uh, the, the kind of image that the company has outwardly? Uh, would you be able to find some of these small things that are not necessarily uh, listed in the job ads, but things that matter to you, things that make you happy in those companies. Uh, and again, this is where uh, the really helpful materials that Work in Estonia has put together uh, do, uh, do help. So I, I maybe won't even spend so much time on, on this point, but um, during uh, my my career working in, in TransferWise, LHV and now Verif, uh, I think uh, the, the number of CVs that I've seen uh, is around 2,000. Uh, the interviews that I've done is around 
200. Uh, and, and now, or several hundred, I think we, we got to hire a few uh, 200. Uh, so based on this, what I can tell you is that the application round is the majority of the effort, because there you have the biggest competition. And all of the things that you think about before you actually submit the application, they do shine through right away in your application. It is very visible there if you're actually uh, applying to a job role that has personally spoken to you. Is it something that uh, matters to you? Is it something that uh, you see yourself connecting to? Uh, or is it just another job application for you? Because this definitely does show from how you present your uh, 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 CV or cover letter or the test assignment, uh, this uh, really shines through. So keep all of those things in mind that you have done in preparation when you are uh, submitting your application. Um, interview. Uh, Again, these are very different, of course, for the different roles and sometimes highly specialized roles. But um, some of the things to, to keep in mind is that it's 50-50 getting to know each other from both sides. So the company, your future colleagues, they want to see the real you. They want to see this excitement that you have found uh, reading their job posts, reading their company blog posts, reading uh, some interesting stuff that they have posted on Medium. They want to see this excitement from you because then they can right away understand, okay, we have something in common. So uh, when you go to the interviews, it, it is about um, kind of selling yourself or explaining your, uh, your past experiences but also the way you uh, make an effort to understand your potential future colleagues makes a big difference. The kind of questions you ask, uh, how you ask, uh, even the order of which you ask your questions, it really makes a difference. Start from the things that really matter to you the most uh, and don't uh, just ask questions for the sake of it. Ask about things that matter to you. And yeah, when you go through um, a job application from that angle, that you are not just looking for a place where you are able to use the skills, but you are looking for a place where you don't feel that you are just uh, spending the time to uh, kind of get to the uh, kind of uh, final phase of the life where you can finally enjoy it, then this is, this is what it's all about. Finding the places where the good things resonate uh, in every day and then you can just uh, enjoy the journey and make the most of it. So that was it for me. Thank you so much for uh, listening. Thank you very much. I hope that was a great introduction and I'm very sure that most of you would be looking to work in Estonia. So I would really like to thank for such a nice, it was a really nice icebreaker and one of the best ways to explain like how you can actually prepare and apply for a job in Estonia. Now we have the second company from, from where we have Maris representing Genius Sports. I actually worked in the company for a few months. And this was the first place where I got my first job in Estonia. So it's really the best fun place to start working in Estonia. Uh, from my personal experience, I can say that. So, stage is yours. Hello. Hello.
presentation come here, we're gonna give you a small gift. The second question is for Davis fans. So what do you think? When was the year when the price the amount 91. <laughs> what? 91. No. 2010? 2010. 2000. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> you said seven? Yes. You said. Yes, seven is the right answer. Okay. Just quite recently. <clears throat> and the last question is for the basketball fans. So be ready. How many players are in the board? Five. Five. He was first. Yes. So five are at the same time playing on the court. So please, those three of you. Applause for you. <laughs> you know sports. Well done. So, yes. We get the five. Perfect. So, no more of it, uh, about Gina Sports. Uh, we, Gina Sports is uh, ensuring that all the sports data that's happening from the live games will be uh, shared in the transparent and in the, in integrity with every partner or stakeholder who needs the data, including the sports federations. Uh, we're making sure that the sports is transparent and uh, is according to their rules. So, for example, there would be no pre-agreements before football matches, just so one team can win a lot of money. Uh, we're making sure of this. And we are located in 16 different locations, but actually, Dining One is the biggest location. Can you guess how many people we are in Dining Office every day? Uh, almost? A bit less? Bit more? 200. Yeah, like 200, 250. So we might be not so visible every day when you're walking on the streets because we're mainly working with B2C customers or B2B customers. However, if you watch sports, we are always there. There's no event that we're not there. So we are following approximately 50 to 60 different sports um, activities, uh, maybe let's say tennis, basketball. Uh, badminton, uh, cricket, you name it, we're always there and uh, we're making sure that our partners are getting the relevant data for it. So who are we in Dalian office? In Dalian office, I think whenever you walk around you see people who want to do something, uh, who want to achieve something and most importantly they are into sports. So we have sports screens all over the place. We're watching different sports games together. In the summer, we, when it was uh, this football event, I'm not a big football fan, I'm more like a badminton fan. So that's why we had a big uh, football event and uh, watching it together in the office with uh, different other fun activities. So it's, almost, it's always very fun in our office. And the most important thing that every single person in the office wants to do something great. And that's why uh, one of the fun facts is that in Dalian office, approximately 50% of our senior, um, senior employees or team leads or head of departments are actually grown from, the, from uh, junior positions. So for example, our host today, uh, he told he was working as a sports trader uh, some time ago. Our general manager, office manager, who's leading 250 people today, he studied as a sports trader, just as a part-time job besides his studies. Our uh, senior product owners in IT or developers also studied or started as uh, traders or customer service uh, when they were just students. And why is it good for them? Because we believe that every single person who is going to lead a team or product or a department, they need to know that the, uh, the main core of our operations 100%. So we want everyone to start from junior roles and then you're gonna grow inside the company. Uh, one example, uh, our head of uh, global support who's leading approximately 300 people in Colombia and in Estonia, he's an Estonian guy. He was actually a professional footballer some years ago and he started also as a part-time customer support uh, person. So now he's leading two offices and uh, one of the biggest departments in the, in the company. 
So yeah, so the main thing for you to know is that don't be afraid to start from junior and uh, don't be afraid to start from small because you never know where you're going to go in two years, three years, ten so years. Here is where you apply careers.estonia at geniusports.com. Because you get the working experience and you get to know yourself and that's what we also promote inside the company. So if you want to find a job or you just want to know more about us, there's some links here and also my email address. Feel free to contact us, just say you came from this event. We usually reply quite fast to you. And yeah, we're gonna hope to see you, many of you, in our office. So guys, anything in sports, you join here. Careers.estonia at GeniusSports.com So I'd like to invite all the winners, declared by Maris, to come over here and collect their prizes for us. Okay, here are the winners. Thank you very much, great advice. But I'd like to invite you back on stage. Uh, thanks for your time.